Okay, I'm needing someone to sell them this jacket that we got for nine bucks and I'm gonna sell it to her for 30 because there's actually a lot of condition issues with that jacket. Um, there's like a small hole and there's like some crusty stuff that I can't get off. So I listed it for 40 and she said, okay, I'll take it for 40. But then I was like, well, I messaged her back. I'm like, there are some condition issues. I'm like, well, I can do 30. She said she wants to look it at first. So she's not sure if she wants to get it yet. Um, we'll see. We're just meeting her by my house. So it's not really out of the way. And then the furla bag, the blue candy bag, we sold for 35. Oh, that was such a hard sell. I mean, nobody's buying it on Depop and nobody's buying it on Facebook Marketplace or auction groups. I finally got like a message to like, oh, can I look at it first before I buy it? I'm like, oh, this bag is good. And grand granted, I only paid $7 for it, but it's still $7, $7 is $7. And I think it's that glue, the glue issue underneath the zipper material is what's problematic about that bag. And then, um, someone driving is so annoying um and then uh yeah and she looked at me she's like can i get it for 35 i'm like oh okay i would have taken 30 but okay i'm not a fan of furla like i don't know i just i'm not i mean yeah they're luxury yeah they're like made in italy but still it's kind of like i'm not really a fan of furla that much but yeah so we sold the furla candy bag for 35 i basically made like $22 on that and I'll take that any day of the week $22 is $22 and then hopefully she gets this Adidas jacket for 30 because that'll be extra money in my money in my pocket mo money for my eye surgery mo money for me and then I, I told you guys did I tell you guys in the vlog I can't remember the uh I think I mentioned it earlier about the the whole Polaroid camera thing they've been selling like hot cakes she just messaged me she's like i'm here i'm like okay i'm coming i'm coming well i didn't say that i just read it and i thought it <laughs> okay so let's do this give me your money give me give me your money yeah just give me your money give me give me your money youtube has been so slow this month like thank goodness that my sales have picked up to compensate for the yo lo, yo for the low youtube earnings like we are in the 21st it's what is it today january 21st i think or 20th i forgot what day it is today i've literally only made like 1300 dollars on youtube which yes is a lot i know for a lot of people but like i earn average 22 2500 dollars a month on youtube and it's it's always like the mid-month where i'm like oh my god i'm not earning as much and i have to pump out you know more videos and i'm not just pumping out videos to make money well i am but i'm not but i am <laughs> uh hello it's my only income and aside from the reselling so but if i hit 2500 i mean my last three months on youtube have been consistent 2500 basically i think this last month was like 2490 or something like that it was literally like ten dollars less than what i earned the month before but yeah let's go meet this girl okay i'm driving i'm leaving let's go uh-huh i'm driving i'm leaving let's go okay batch better not be what are you bitches doing sorry Oh, Mother Crepper. Ugh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I was going to park somewhere and it's like a handicap. But now this guy's leaving so we can park there at his spot. And then I have to go over to Save On Foods because it's buy one sushi and get one free. So we want that. I have to go messages. Three. Success. She got it. I got my money. I got my money! Okay, so I went, well, okay, so I went to Save On Foods and I got a uh, head. <laughs> I got head at the grocery store, a head of lettuce, and then we got two sushis, one dim sum, smart water, and 
da, 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 something else. I can't remember. Anyway, it came up to like $27. I basically made like $35, $30, and I spent $30. So it's like, ugh, why does life have to cost so much money? It boggles my mind, this thing called life. Why can't life be free? Like the olden days, before consumerism, before evolution, we were free in the jungle, free to mate like animals, <laughs> free food, because you just hunted for your food. <sighs> so anyway, let's go make a living because that's what we do. We need to make a living so that we can support ourselves. I don't really see anything. Okay. We're pulling up to Salvation Army. Our day is late. It's the day after from the last scene. And I don't know, we're gonna park. We'll park over here. <clears throat> we are late starting our day. We're just gonna hit up four thrift stores, two Salvation Armies, two Value Villages, and a partridge in a pear tree. Uh, let's go. Scusi. Uh, I got my bra right there. Let's go inside and see if we find anything. I actually have a 30, no, a 50% off coupon to utilize. So that expires on January 31st. So we kind of want to use that as soon as possible. Nice dandy leather, um, like laptop bag. Like 20 bucks too. It's not bad price. Mm. Sorry, my hands are so dry. It's super cute, but I have way too many anthropology cardigans ready to begin with, so I'm gonna pass on that. This was super cute too. I love like the contrasting colors with the green, the pink, and the purple. It's just way too expensive. 15 bucks, but that's a really cute sweat hoodie. Very like 90s colors. Oh, it's got a nylon material. A lot of marks on it. I don't know if you can get that out. It's only $14.95, which isn't a bad price if you want to clean it up. Factory outlet. Finally, a good price for a bag here. And I found another bag that I'm going to show you in my haul. This is leather, I can tell. No, it's pleather. So obviously I can't tell. Pulling up to Value Village. Value Village. Value Village. Fresh veggies. <laughs> um, okay. We found some stuff at Salvation Army. Um, I'll show it to you guys in the collective hall, Avi. And then, yeah, let's go inside and see if we find anything here. Crap, the gas went up to 97 cents. It was only. 85 cents yesterday <laughs> i'm not filling up till it goes back down i'm on strike for gas okay let's go let's go inside see if we find anything in here cute and 
It's Calvin Klein and it's leather. It's 30 bucks. No. Not this. It is actually really, really cute. I wonder if I can, I don't think I'm going to get more than 30 for this, to be honest, though. Oh, but I don't have to price so expensively here. Lulu, hoodie, fleece lined, nylon. Too much. Sure, it's totally true. No matter how bad your heart has been broken, the world doesn't stop for you. Your grief, the sun comes right back up the next day. Zara man. Okay guys, Value Village, 737. I have to drop off that TNA gym bag that we thrifted for $2. Um, I have to drop it off all the way on the other end of the city, like literally the other end of the city before the end of the city. So um, we kind of can only spend about, and at nine o'clock I have to go meet my trainer. Then we're gonna go train at the, the gym in my apartment. Um, my trainer's kind of cute, but he doesn't dress that good. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, granted it's just working out, but whatever. I need to take him shopping here and then we can get him like a new outfit. A little Reebok. Looks vintage. I don't think it is. Tie-dye with a big logo on front. I really like this a lot. Number one, because it's a bootleg Calvin Klein jeans and in the mid to late 90s, Calvin Klein was bootlegged like really, really frequently. And they would just screen print it on any kind of uh, thing. And I actually used to own a bootleg one. So this is definitely from the 90s. It's like a bootleg 90s Calvin Klein jeans. You can just tell by the quality because I used to own something like that. I think I'm gonna get it because just the memories of that and it's kind of cool. got some good MK bags um, but we have to look really quickly because um, I have to be on the other side of the city in like 30 minutes Ooh, I think I'm gonna use my 20% off coupon because I want to thank Apple from Instagram she gave me a 30% off coupon it expires at the end of the month so I have to use that before it's over welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me today we are going to do the thrift portion of the the thrift the whole portion of the thrift portion of the portion of the portion of the video um we found a lot of great things the past couple of days from thrifting so i'm really excited about that and yeah let's get right into it we found a bunch of goodies today yesterday the day before there's a collective haul in the past couple of vlogs so yeah bag number one Okay, okay, so today we thrifted, no, we're not gonna do that first. We're gonna do this first. So we thrifted this bog, this bog, uh, I think two days ago or a day ago. It's this Michael Kors tote bag. It's in canvas with leather trim, and it's really cute. It has that, this we thrifted during the 50% off day sale at Value Village. So this was $50, so half of that, $25 plus tax. So I paid about, hmm, 25 plus tax so i paid about like 28 ish which is a good deal it is factory outlet it's in awesome condition i love the little detail right there on the zipper that's kind of cool and like when it comes to canvas bags like this you want to look for the corner wear because that is where it wears super quickly like coach has this sort of canvas and it always wears and it becomes like 
like this lighter part, the, the, the dart try, starts to peek through. I hate that. And there's no cracking on the leather. Um, no cracking on here. I don't like handles like this because it eventually ends up cracking right there. But this is an awesome condition. Great bag. I hope I'm getting about $80 for this. So, yeah. This at, this at the factory outlet probably retailed, probably sold for $1.99. And then they probably had like a 70% off discount off of that. So, this probably retailed about $100 plus tax. So, like $113. But whatever. It is what it is. I mean, there is a little bit of wear like right there in the bottom like right here but it's so minimal that it's not even worth talking about okay and then these oh okay this is not included i just added it to the to for the effect okay but we thrifted these dolce and gabbana dolce and gabbana someone said i should chew more of my videos so i can get more toned and feminized face <laughs> whatever anyway dolce and gabbana these are like the dolce and gabbana not dng so hello to that um, these are called, the, I don't know what they're called, but they're the model DG4138. These are super expensive. Like these are men's sunglasses, but obviously they can be unisex. And I think I saw a picture of one of the Glee cast members wearing them, but I'll try them on for you. That's what they look like on. I think they're really cute. I think they're really nice. Um, but these retail for $1,000 and I thrifted these for $14.99 and then I had a $2 off coupon I used for it because this wasn't part of the 50% off sale. But ugh, minimal scratching on the lenses and it is like an awesome condition. So yeah. If anybody's interested in buy, interested in buying anything, let me know, and I will uh, give me an offer. You guys know what I paid. You guys know what shit's worth. So give me a good deal. Okay, give me a good offer. Okay. Actually, that's the only two things that we thrifted <laughs> yesterday. Um, okay, so we today we picked up. Okay, from Salvation Army. We didn't have to, time to go to the second Salvation Army, so the only we went to the first one. This one is a Danier leather bog. And it is leather. This leather is very smooth. There's darkening in the handles, but it doesn't, it's not really evident because of the color of the bag. But the bag in, is in excellent condition. I mean, there's a little bit of marks that I hope to get off, like there and like there and like there. And, but it's still in great condition. And I only paid $8 for this, so you can't beat that, right? And, oh, there's something in there. I forgot that I thrifted that too. And the inside is in great condition too, so. Danye leather and it has the top handle and the uh, shoulder strap so that's good and also at that at that Salvation Army we thrifted this Bath and Body Works for 69 cents 69 cents it is uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what it's covered the stickers covering it so I don't know what the scent is but 69 cents you can't beat that and then today we went to Value Village uh did we get anything at the first time I can't remember did we I can't remember okay did we I can't remember. Okay, so from the Value Village by Polo Park on Ellis, we thrifted these. No, we didn't. We thrifted these at, oh, these were at Salvation Army too. Sorry. Okay, they're Tupperware, um, vintage Tupperware. I like vintage Tupperware. I don't, I prefer it rather than newer Tupperware because I like the vintage look. It reminds me of my childhood of like my Ninang having like Tupperware and these were like a dollar a piece so just throw those in the dishwasher hopefully they're good I don't know what to put in here but something long I, I assume like hot dogs or corn dogs I don't know and they nice and shut so we picked that up at the Valley Village by Pull Apart, and we also picked this up, which I thought was so adorable. So adorable. Um, oh no, <laughs> I'm confuzzled. Uh, okay, we picked this up at, uh, okay, no. Yeah, these were from Salvation Army on Empress by Pull Apart, and this one was from Salvation Army. No, <laughs> this one was from, Value Village by Polo Park. I think it's a, it's either something to put money in or a Kleenex box holder. I'm gonna use it as a Kleenex box holder. It was Fat Alice, but I had a two dollar off coupon, so it ended up being three dollar. So it's really cute, and you have that little turn lock, and it opens like that. I think it was super cute, and it matches my decor. So 
And I like like the uh, tarnishing and the chipping of the paint. I think it gives it that rustic chic look. Definitely, definitely happy with this. And then we went to Value Village of by Unicity and we picked up some great things there. The first, okay, I have a story about this. Okay, so back in when I was like in high school and junior high, Calvin Klein was super, super popular. And it was right when CK1 was releasing, like was being released as a fragrance. And it, it just, um, and Kate Moss was popular. Antonio Sabato Jr. was their underwear uh, spokesperson. And CK pullovers were really popular. And when I was in high school, they were very, and junior high, it was very expensive. I think they were like 50 bucks. And 50 bucks in 1995 is expensive, okay? So... Um, what would what would what we would do as Filipinos and probably immigrants did too? I'm not sure, but I know a lot of my other friends, like uh, Portuguese and East Indian, they and they they also had them. But for me as a Filipino, I remember um, I would always get Filipinos trying to sell me bootleg Calvin Klein pullovers, and I mean they were only at twenty dollars. So did you want to pay fifty plus tax? you know, and then, or would you rather pay like $20 for a bootleg Calvin Klein? So I remember having a bootleg Calvin Klein in high school and junior high, and then people didn't know any, didn't know the difference, but it was just, it just, so the, to make my story short, I purchased this. It's a bootleg Calvin Klein, totally from the 90s. I can totally tell this is like one of the ones made in the 90s, just from the style of the pullover. Like, it's just really evident. There's no tag on it. Let's see? And this was seven fifty minus twenty uh, percent. I just thought it was so cute because <laughs> that does that's not what the Calvin Klein logo looks like anyway. Like in on the originals back in the nineties. Anyway, I just thought that it just brought a bunch of memories and the fact that it's bootleg from the nineties. I thought that was kind of kind of cool. It's a size uh, XL, so that's good. It's really cute. I like that so much. It brings back so many memories. I remember, I also remember, okay, there's another story. I remember I could not afford an Adidas uh, tracksuit. And Adidas tracksuits were so popular in 1995, 96. And all the cool kids were wearing, but it was expensive. It was like $100 for the set, I think it was, or 120 So that was very expensive in 1995 and 96. And what happened was I asked my mom to get me one. She's like, no, I could get it cheaper. So then her, my godmother was like a seamstress, so my mom went to her and said, yeah, we want like an Adidas, can you make it, can you get an Adidas uh, tracksuit, blah, blah. So, you know, I'm like, oh, I was so excited. I told him how to spell Adidas. And when we finally picked up the, the Adidas tracksuit, it looked nothing like <laughs> the things, you, it was like a shiny reflective material. And then like, it was just Adidas, like in a kind of cursive rather than Adidas, Adidas, the way it looks. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm not wearing this. It doesn't even look anything like Adidas. And my mom's like, you better wear that shit. I pay $50 for it. <laughs> So I wore it to school and everybody started making fun of me. They're like, what kind of Adidas is that? I'm like, it's a limited edition Adidas. <laughs> They're like, no, it's not. It's fake. You're wearing a bootleg. And I, everybody was laughing at me during gym, but I was like rocking it like I thought I was so cool. And yeah, it was a little, I'm still like emotionally scarred over it. <laughs> anyway, that's the whole story about bootleg in, in the 90s. Anyway, but this I love. I'm going to keep it. And I think it's so cute. Yeah, I love it. It just screams 90s for this shirt. Okay, the other two things that we purchased from Valley Village there, we purchased this bag. I just thought it was super unique. I haven't seen a bag like this from Michael Kors before. So that's like interesting. It's um, bucket bag style snap closure. And... It just screams like a rocker. Like it reminds me of something like Versace would have in the 90s, like a rocker chic. Like, I don't know what this is. It's like a metal, it's like a mesh metal. And then it has, it's just really kind of funky. And then it has a longer crossbody strap. I've never seen, I don't know what year, what model this is. I'm gonna do some research, but I think that's rocker chic cool, right? <laughs> and this was $60 which is reasonable for Michael Kors at the thrift store. I know it sounds expensive, but I mean, it's Value Village. You know, they price a lot of, they, they price high. So $60 is not bad. I used a 20% off. So whatever that is off of $60 plus 13% tax. So really I paid like, so really I paid 7% um, off of the $60. So I probably paid like 55 or 58, somewhere around there, which is not bad. I mean, it's leather. It's not factory outlet, which is good. And yeah. Any money? You owe me any money? 
So I'm gonna probably aim for about $100 for this or $120 just because it's so unique, you know? And this is probably the best find. And I think they priced this low because they probably thought it was fake. But this Michael Kors Hamilton in the smooth leather. And it's in great condition, the $30. Like, that's a great price. And I got 20% off that. I think they thought it was fake because they wouldn't price this at $30. And of course they put out the good shit the day after the sale because today's the day after the sale, right? Of course they're gonna put out the good shit then. But yeah, and the inside is super clean and this is like a newer uh, Hamilton, so. And I'm probably gonna aim for 120 to 150 for this because these retail for uh, $2.99, I believe. And then if they go on sale, which sometimes, the black usually doesn't go on sale, but their colors like Dusty Rose or like green or, or but the browns, like their luggage color and the blacks usually don't go on sale. So this is probably still like $2.99, you know? Um, but this is in excellent condition. There's like nowhere on this bag whatsoever. Yeah, awesome, fine. I'm gonna aim for like 150 for this because it's an amazing bag. Anyway, guys, that's all that we got. I'm so excited with the things that we got. Um, I'm still trying to hustle because you guys know that I, uh, I'm going to get LASIK on my eyes February 6th. And also I'm excited because I also got a referral to the laser hair removal um, for my face. Um, finally get that done. Um, yeah, it's free where I live because if you're like me, then you can cover, it's, it's free where I live. In my province, Manitoba, it's free. Um, so I'm excited to do that. I just have to hear from the doctor in Montreal and then my local doctor for the breast augmentation and then we're good to go. I'm so excited. All the, all the pins are lining up and I'm, I'm really excited with everything that's going on. Of course, I'm gonna still keep making YouTube videos. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love everybody that supports me, that messages me, that watches, that clicks the ads, that thumbs up, that thumbs down, that leaves comments. It's so amazing to interact with you guys. You guys are my bread and butter. So <laughs> I'm your, I'm your jungle monkey i'm your entertainment monkey okay <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much uh, for watching don't forget to, rem to remain positive productive and progressive and i'll see you in tomorrow's video i love you bye